Hey guys, so can we talk skincare for a minute? Like, what are we doing with our face this fall and winter? Like, can we talk about that? Because I want to talk about that. So, getting right into this video. Um, this video has been requested a few times by a few people. I've done this video at least twice before, but I guess because the season's changing is why it's being requested a lot. So, I just had to go ahead and do this video for you guys. So, um, this is going to be my skincare routine regimen things i use whatever you want to call it um whatever that title up there says that's what this video is about so yeah it's about skincare and about some key products that i've been using and that i'm going to be using going into the fall and winter because um if you're like me when the season changes your skin type changes and with me my skin is more dry in the winter than it is during the summer so I have to use some things that are a lot more moisturizing and I have to use a little bit more products just to make sure my face stays moisturized otherwise it gets really dry and just not a good look okay so yeah first things first let's talk about makeup remover wipes these I got from Dollar Tree and these are facial wipes for sensitive skin by Royal and it says it removes eye makeup cleanses tones and moisturizes oil balance formulation with vitamin E and chamomile and it has 30 of these, and it's alcohol-free, which is one of the things I really looked for because I can't put a lot of alcohol products on my face. Otherwise, it dries it out even more. So, yeah. So, these makeup wipes I have been using for a while now, and I'm going to be continuing to use them. They work amazing. Um, one facial wipe, not even the one, just like a half of a facial wipe, gets rid of my entire face. And I love that, and I really like these. So, I will be using these going into the fall. So following in order, after I remove my makeup, I then go to wash my face. I've been using the Clean and Clear Foaming Facial Cleanser. As you guys should already know, I only use Clean and Clear products on my face as far as soaps go. And um, this is oil free. It's medicated to kill problem causing bacteria without over drying. Again, is what I need, especially um, through the winter because I get dry and I don't need products drying me out. And um, this, even though it says foaming facial cleanser, it doesn't foam up. So I don't know why they have it called foaming. Maybe like, I don't know, maybe they got the wrong pump in there or something. Because this don't foam at all. Like you just squirt it out and it comes out like that. So I don't know exactly what that's about. So yeah, but I love this stuff. Been using it since I was in eighth grade, which was forever ago, it seems like. And yeah, so that's what I use to wash my face. And when I wash my face, I wash my face with lukewarm water. I don't use hot, hot water because the water in my area is kind of harsh. So if I use really hot water on my face, it dries my face out. So that's another tip is to pay attention to your water. Because if you're getting your, if your skin is really drying out a lot after you wash your face, try cooling off the water a little bit. Not using such hot water because the water may be drying your face out as well. So yeah. Um, so I want to talk about two moisturizers from Clean and Clear, and these moisturizers I have been loving since spring. And this is the Clean and Clear Morning Glow Moisturizer, and this is the Clean and Clear Mattifying Moisturizer. As you guys know, I recently picked this up on sale, and I've been using this as a face primer. I love it. It keeps all the oil away from my face, like all day long. I don't have to worry about touching up. I don't have to block my makeup, anything like that. Ever since I've been using this... I have not had to touch up my makeup ever, okay? And I'm loving this as a moisture, as a primer. Under it, I use the Morning Glow. I use this, even though it says morning, I use it day and night. I just kind of really like the way it makes my skin feel. And it has SPF 15, and this one also has SPF 15. But I have been loving, loving, loving this as a moisturizer as well. Um, it leaves a nice glow to my skin. Although I do want to say it's not necessarily a glow. It's kind of like a light shimmer that's actually going on your face. But I still love it. Um, I swear by Clean and Clear products. I just love them to death. They don't break me out. And I have sensitive skin because I have eczema. So, um, And I can honestly say I have not had a situation with eczema in a while since I've stuck to just using the Clean and Clear products. So yeah, been loving that. Now, since it is going into winter, sometimes I need a little bit of extra moisture to put on my face at night, just so that my face is nice and moisturized in the morning when I get ready to do makeup or anything um, pertaining to it. Um, so what I've been using is this Walmart brand, the Equate Cocoa Butter. 
and it's a conditioning body lotion and I use this all over it has cocoa butter and vitamin E and I've been using this all over my body as well as on my face to keep me nice and to keep me nice and moisturized throughout the day and that's the baby he's playing the older he gets the more he talks and you can't stop him from talking so I do apologize if you guys start to hear him a lot in my videos because I try to record when he's taking a nap but like He's like anti-naps nowadays, so it's just, it's crazy. So don't mind the baby, but yeah. So I've been using this on my face and body to moisturize um, lately because I've noticed that my skin started to dry out a little earlier this year. So yeah, been using that. Another thing I've been using kind of as a moisturizer, and sometimes I mix this with my moisturizers depending on what I'm doing, and it's grapeseed oil. I use this for my hair and I've been using this for my skin and my nails and I have been just loving this stuff seriously I don't even know if you're supposed to do that but I've been loving it because it really has been helping my cuticles look a lot better um, and it's been really good to my skin also um, like for example the other day I had like I get really dry around like hey I get really dry around like the corners of my nose and so since I get dry around like the corners of my nose it's been like this has just been helping it helps rehydrate that skin there the skin doesn't is not dry in the morning i just been really 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 loving this grapeseed oil and you can get grapeseed oil at your local grocery store um i got mine from walmart i also saw it yesterday at kroger in the organic food aisle so that's where you can get grapeseed oil and you can also get coconut oil there too i've been getting that question a lot Another product that I have been loving, loving, loving since I purchased it is the MAC Fix Plus. I've been loving this stuff to just rejuvenate and rehydrate my face. It's like giving my face like a pure drink of water. My face is like, thank you, girl. Thank you. And I've just been loving this stuff. I really have. I really need to just go get the big bottle, but I have not had a chance to go back to MAC. And I meant to actually get the big bottle. When I went to MAC last week and I forgot all about it. So I really need to go and get a... Uh, <laughs> my tooth hurts okay <laughs> so i really been meaning to go get the bigger bottle but lately i've just been using the mini the mini is 10 bucks and i got it because i just wanted to try it before i actually bought it and i love it so yeah i don't know why i just tried to take the top off but yeah so um only thing i don't like about the fix plus is this fragrance that it has it's like a not a good fragrance like like it doesn't smell bad i'm just not a fan of the particular fragrance it smells like a mac store and i don't want to smell like a mac store all the time so yeah but i've been loving this just to hydrate my face i use this kind of like at night i wrap my moisturizer and everything i just spray like a couple sprays and i'm good to go um sometimes when i'm done with my makeup i spray like good to go sometimes when i wake up in the morning as soon as i moisturize with a light moisturizer good to go okay and i carry this in my purse in the event that I feel like I just need a rejuvenation and yeah so I've been loving that also so that's pretty much all I've been using on my skin I hope that was helpful for you guys that were asking I also hope that um, it kind of gave you some insight on what you guys can go look for for your own skin um, for the winter as well so um, as always thanks so much for watching you guys um, don't forget to check the bottom bar. The bottom bar has um, some pretty cool information on a giveaway. Yeah, a giveaway. There's a giveaway going on. In case you didn't know or in case you're missing it, check that link down below. It is open all through October. Um, and, yeah, so I want you guys to go ahead and definitely check that out. So, yeah, so let me get out of here before I start rambling and I need to go see about my kid and all that j -j 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 mama jazz and yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching oh yeah and if you are interested in this tutorial I don't know if it's up yet or not because I haven't edited it yet or finished this video so it'll be up between either before or after this video so just all you have to do is just check my channel for it and it will definitely be up and um, if you're not subscribed subscribe so you don't miss it okay because it'll just automatically show up in your feeds and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you lovely babies in the next video. Bye.